Hi, this is Thomas from MarsMoonSpace.com Yesterday we went over a picture from Brad Colin Shepard, the founder of Last Lunar Anomaly Research Society Now Brad has sent me a new picture and uh, he wants me to take a look at it So I do And this is the picture Part of it This is the original color it has, it has here So First look at it, didn't give me much. And I kinda thought that uh, all this bright brightness, bright light there is must cover something. Brett mentioned that he believed it was a part of an old ocean and uh, let's see if we can do some magic like this and convert the color to opposite colors. Now let's take a look at the same picture again with the opposite colors and now it looks completely different what looks like one big object before on the ground with the light color on the left side and the dark color on the right side looks to me like two objects I'm gonna add a little brightness to it here to force <laughs> with brightness and violence <laughs> the last objects out and make it visible and I'm gonna add some colors here we're starting down here in the bottom because what is this white light we see here it's not a part of the background as such uh, something separate, it looks like some sort of a beam, light beam of a kind going from the ground and to the top of this, I call it a tower and I'm gonna point out the whole tower as I see as a tower here and we're gonna take it step by step I hope you have a lot of time because this is the longest video I have ever made but I just could not stop Take a look at all these things that are in it. It's not just the tower that I'm pointing out here. First of all, I will say I talked before about the bright left half and the dark right half, and I'm pointing out the dark side now. Actually, my belief is that the left side it is added somehow to cover up for this tower to make it look like this tower was a part of a hill whatever anything on the ground I think that has been messed with these pictures to hide what's in it but I've seen the picture now I've been deep in it and I want you to see the whole video because what comes out here is amazing not just this little or giant tower but everything's around it what we are looking at here not just what I'm pointing out now all the features here is a city a harbor with an industrial complex on the side of the harbor take a good look at all this it's very very special and there is so much hidden in this anomaly in, in, in this picture so many anomalies we can point out take a look up here Tell me how much you see in this picture. There's way much more yet to come. And we are not finished yet. For some reason, <laughs> my computer only allows me to do a few minutes each time before it breaks down. <laughs> so I had to cut it, this video in two. But anyway, doesn't matter. 
main thing is we succeeded. Now take a look at this one. Did you see that before? Just as soon as we get started with the paint job here. It's almost impossible to stop. I could keep on going on and on and on. I could do this all night, but I don't think anyone would view the whole video if I did. <laughs> but I was also aware of if I pointed it all out first and took a picture of it with the color on. No one, nobody would notice because the picture would be all orange. Take a look at all this. This is awesome, guys and girls. So much in it. So much in it. I'm gonna do a little uh, color adjustment in a little while to bring out one more feature. Take a look at the right, left side of the picture. Just left for the middle there. See how much more you can see. Because something is striking me here. We are looking at a big wall just in front of us now. With a roof on also. Let's do some magic here. I love this software. I really love it. You see now, we are darkening the picture a little bit. You see that wall? It's a building built inside this hill or mountain or rock or whatever it is. Let's color it up. You can even see the holes in it. Is that ventilation? Is it windows? What is this? This is amazing. Take a good look around here. I cannot point everything out on this picture. Take a look at this. Two eyes and a mouse. Are we looking at a face here? Or is it just a coincidence? But as usually, you decide what you see, I know what I see. This was sent to me by Brad Collins. And in the mail convo I had with him before I started here, he talked about the sea. And it looks like what once was an ocean. I'm gonna point out buildings, I'm gonna point out constructions, but first I'm gonna save this picture for use to later to the end of the video here and now we're rolling with the second half of the video you see these things we pointed out for before this ladies and gentlemen take a good look at this we are, got, we are first looking at it with the contrast we chose before and after that we're gonna change the contrast a bit and I'm gonna show you what it looks like a ship got a cannon on I even don't know where to start, take a look at this one here we have these round features all over somehow and it's amazing because when you first get started you can't stop because you look at a picture the first thing you see is a bright light covering something you don't see anything you see some edges of a rock or two just as soon as you start changing the color and the contrast you see more and more and you begin and when you begin to point out stuff like we're doing now it all just slowly comes to the surface and I admit I admit <laughs> of course I do that some of it could just be rock created by whatever in my brain makes it look like something else 
no problem admitting that I am not perfect. I'm never gonna be it, and if anybody thinks that they are, then they would exactly, precisely not be it. <laughs> so, but to continue with this, we could keep on pointing out and out and out. And look at all these small features around, and what what is all this stuff? It's the pipes, it's that uh, containers, it's a... Uh, what is it? Is it something that's still in use, or is it some lifter or some... It's not easy to, to find the answers to it. The only thing we can do is point it out as good as we can. This is... This is something special. I normally always used to say, see this in full screen if you can, but in this case I had to crop the video from the, the software I use, unfortunately. So, try not to use it, see it in full screen, because it would get a little bit blurry. So, I'm gonna do my best to, what I can to, to find things down there, and again, the source here. Is Brad Colin Shepard who came with this image? As you can see here, we, we can't. I can't stop. What what are we looking at here? What am I finding out here? Is that a building? Is that a facility? And what is this one here? Part of something also. I almost. I'm almost about to say I, I don't even know how to comment on on all this. As I said before, when you first get started, you can't stop. And we're looking at more and more and more. And unfortunately, right now I have darkened a little bit too much, but we are gonna change the contrast in a, in a few minutes and take a look at it again. And you will see even more, even, even more clear. And I um, can tell you one of the secrets. You've just seen part of a ship down the right corner, not now, but just for five seconds ago. We're gonna go back and look at that. And I'm almost sure that it's gonna give the wow effect when you see that ship. But let's swing this up here first and take a look around. You can't see no ships here, can you? Wait and you will see. And here we can keep on pointing out stuff. We can keep on and on. This is awesome. And if you read the text from NASA, it says the main picture this is taken from is 30 kilometers tall and six uh, three kilometers wide. The pictures I took are cut it out from the original because the original was too big to start it. Zoom on like this and paint on. So the picture you saw in the beginning here is six kilometers tall, six to six and a half, and it's three kilometers wide. And in my brain, and from human standards, then all these things fits with small houses, buildings supply places and even a ship data you're actually looking at it right now in the middle but you can't see it yet you will see it later so wait and see take a look at all these anomalies here also this doesn't look natural as I said before I inverted the color to opposite colors I always do that when I'm looking at uh, this orbiter image. It's a standard for when you're looking for anomalies and in 50, 60, 70 percent of all the pictures I look at, it brings even more forward. I found what looks like small men. You probably have seen some of the videos. I found a lot of other stuff during the using the converted colors. I am actually 
painting on the ship now and you still can't see it because the contrast is not right and you will still have to wait and see what I mean with ship but we'll be back to that area in a minute take a look how much we have pointed out now and we could keep on pointing it out I could actually paint the whole dark area I could paint with that color I'm using here take a look at this one is that a pipe connection what is this rope it's meters wide it's many meters wide it's three four meters wide so it would be a, a huge pipe two to four meters I would estimate what are we looking at here as usual Leave a comment on the YouTube comment box, or you can go to Facebook to the Mars Moon Space Photo Zoom Club. Photo Zoom Club. We are not in Denmark anymore. <laughs> Club Club. And uh, you can find the post there, and you can leave a comment on it. So now we are back to changing uh, some contrast. And uh, what I described as a ship before with a gun, cannon, on. Are we looking at here? I'm gonna paint it out now. You see the rear end here. And we are getting a little closer to the middle here. And you see the gun I just pointed out here. Can you see that? Gun turret. I think that's the word in English. And we have the long pipe here coming out from the end of the ship and that makes me believe it could be some kind of oh and there was a little sphere here I'm gonna point that out here just so that too as I said you can go on and on but during uh, about the pipe here I, I make the thing it's a kind of anchor could it be uh, it's a kind of uh, oil supply ship uh, to to find oil which I have no idea take a look at this that's what uh, what I was describing as a ship that and the tower on top is some of the two most amazing things in this whole image There is some connection from that pipe to, to to what I call the ship. But what is it? I don't think it's an anchor. I think it's something else. I think that ship has been searching for oils or minerals or something they could cover up from the harbor. From the seabed, sorry. And what you see to the right in this picture is actually the dry seabird as we're looking at and to the left of the ship you see the harbor and you saw this round object it just pounded out also what is that and we have I could keep on going and going I have to stop sometime <laughs> see we have this platform here that that the old harbor edge? Uh, what is it? We have all of these black round line pipes. What are we looking at? I don't know. Please tell me what you think. As I said before, uh, when you first get started you can't stop you can keep on digging into it keep on digging and keep on digging and I have to stop at <laughs> some times you see this one it's a little pyramid shaped building what's on top of it and to the left of that 
putting it out here. What is it? Do you see now? This is not natural. And this, all of this, what hidden was hidden under that bright light we saw in the very first original picture from NASA. NASA, please tell us the truth. Are there still life on Mars? I believe you know the answer to that. And I also believe that we had Mars, life on Mars. And I dare say there still is. We all heard about the catastrophe that we believe happened to the nuclear war, uh, the asteroid, uh, meteor that hit Mars and destroyed most of the surface. Or was that just the area the rovers are in? I believe that when that happened, all those that were on the ground at that time survived. This is it, was. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment in the comment box. This was awesome. Thanks to Brad Cunning Shepard. Bye.